Namaskaram and welcome to the uh, chapter 2. So, uh, in the last chapter, uh, I discussed and I explained like how I started doing meditation. Uh, things were settling down quite well. And as it happens to many people, I started, you know, uh, you know, going to the internet and like uh, finding out like a different books and different articles on how uh, about Buddha and everything. And uh, although like it is not like, you know, I had not read about like Ramana Maharshi during the discourses by Osho and other enlightened master, I was completely unaware who Ramana Maharshi was. He used to quote regularly, but I didn't knew about him. But what actually happened uh, at this period of time is, and again, like, uh, it is not like, you know, uh, once in a while, like, I used to see, like, a Sadhguru's videos here and there, but, like, uh, at that moment, possibly, like, I was not actually prepared uh, to go into, uh, you know, the, that aspects, uh, because uh, I was, like, a still atheist. I was not, uh, you know, I didn't have any spiritual experience or, you know, uh, I didn't want to go beyond the logic still. Still, I was logical even if I was doing a lot of meditation. So one day I was, uh, you know, just going through the internet and searching. Like I found one article and uh, this article was like a quite crazy and then like it actually changed the direction of uh, the entire life, you can say, of my life. So. The article goes like this, like there are actually like a two versions of this uh, incident, uh, the article which I wrote, uh, I read. Uh, I'll discuss that afterwards, but like uh, I'll give you the version that I read uh, in that article. So what actually happens is it's actually the story of uh, Punja Papaji, if you have heard about him. And uh, so uh, he was, uh, he was in the British army only to uh, one day to like uh, you know learn the tactics of the British army and then like a uh, fight against them. He just wanted to be a rebellion to the British army, but at the same time like uh, he was a, a devotee of a Krishna from his childhood and he wanted to go to each and every ashram and then ask to see the God immediately. He just wanted to see the God immediately. He didn't want to wait like uh, he went to many many prominent uh, you know spiritual leaders at that time and who would always recommend him to do yoga, mantra, or meditation, or whatever, but he was not interested in any one of this. So, uh, being army, like uh, his uh, army uh, camp would move from one place to another. And uh, one time what actually happened is, like, uh, you know, uh, his barrack actually moved to Madras at that time, uh, currently Chennai. So, uh, as uh, he he knew about like a Tiruvannamalai and then like he came to Tiruvannamalai and he went to Ramana Maharshi Ashram and then he thought that okay I am going to ask here also whether I can find the God or not immediately. So he put the shoes outside, army boots, he was still in the army uh, uh, clothing. So he went inside the ashram and uh, as he go ahead like he saw Ramana Maharshi and he asked Ramana Maharshi like can you show me God. So uh, Ramana Maharshi didn't say anything. I think like uh, many of you know, he's known as the silent sage of uh, Tiruvannamalai. So after a long time, like he just waited, 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 and uh, he was quite frustrated that like, okay, uh, he's not going to answer or something. And again, like uh, you approached uh, Ramana Maharshi and asked again. So at this time, uh, Ramana Maharshi, uh, what he asked was like, uh, I want to see God, like uh, can you show me or not? So this was an answer like he had tried in many many places in the past but everybody gave him like a different kind of techniques and uh, when he asked again that like uh, you know can you show me the god or not and this was the time like uh, you know it actually pierced me also i believe like it uh, must have happened with uh, uh Papaji also but uh, this actually this moment actually hit me you know very deep something actually happened within me. Uh, so, uh, Bhagavan the Ramana Mercy actually answered that, who is actually seeing through you? And uh, I got like a certain spiritual experience at that moment just by reading that. Um, 
And like I couldn't, uh, you know, actually answer that. Like, uh, you know, who is actually looking through me? Because if you look, if you look from the science, uh, scientific uh, point of view, uh, your eye serves as a lens. Uh, the nerves actually can be considered as a wire that transfer that uh, signal to the brain, and the brain actually processes it. But even after that, also, like, uh, who is actually watching through? using all this. For example, if we have a camera, there is someone behind the camera. Same way, who is behind all this? Because uh, that was the, you know, the point, uh, like I think uh, the direction changed from being the meditator, like uh, the one who was seeking only the physical or psychological evolving, actually changed the direction towards the seeking. So this was the article I read and this was where uh, Ramana Mercy actually gave me the spiritual experience just by reading it. And I became more and more, uh, you know, attracted towards uh, Ramana Mercy and then I started reading uh, his autobiography also. And I read over there as I read, read, read about his autobiography, it's very simple. The Tiruvannamalai, actually the Arunachala Hill, when I read about it, there was a strong magnetic pull. For me, like, uh, you know, although I was in, like, uh, Europe at the time, and somehow, like, I knew that, like, uh, somehow I have to go uh, to uh, Tirumanamala, I have to go to Ramana Marshi I have to go to Arunachala to seek where it is coming from. Even now, like, as I speak, like, uh, you know, <laughs> I can feel the presence, yeah, very strongly. So this kind of the thought happened like, you know, I didn't knew what it was at that period of time. So this actually changed the direction of uh, my life. And uh, like I said, like there are two versions of that story. So if you want to read that uh, another story, uh, the what actually happened with, uh, actually happened with like Ramana Mercy and uh, Punja Pavati, there's a book known as Nothing Ever Happened. It is a three-part series for the autobiography of, you know, Punja Papaji. Actually, uh, whatever I told you, whatever I read in the art, 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 article is slightly different from the another version. Uh, but like I just uh, shared with you so that like uh, whatever happened. So uh, this was uh, the first uh, spiritual experience or the glimpse I had just by reading uh, Ramana Maharaj says, uh, there are more stories to Punjab Babaji and everything, like I'm not going to cover into that one, it is going to make uh, the chapters more longer, hopefully someday, if it is required. Uh, so, uh, so we'll move on to the uh, next chapter in the another video, what actually happened after this. Namaskar.